Ladies and gentlemen, it's very fortuitous that Roger Stone last week was already scheduled to be here working on a lot of behind the scenes journalism with us for the next three days here in Austin, Texas. Thank you for joining us. We're now into the second hour. He'll be with us for the rest of the hour. We have, thanks to 4chan, and my own crew did some geolocating with the photos and found her in Chicago, New York, and other areas at anti-Trump rallies. And we found her with the Russian ambassador. She said she didn't know anybody in the Russian government. Though she held out, she did, when she reached out to Donald Trump Jr. last June. And now we have this Veselnitskia lady who has the classic cutout of a Soros operative who then plays both sides popping in and out at all these Soros uh, anti-Trump events, just like Drudge Instinct was right over the weekend saying, was Trump Jr. set up, but only set up in a PSYOP. From my gut level, before he even went on Hannity last night, I said, this is opposition research. That's what I said on the show yesterday. I said that the, the, the Clintons went and did opposition research with this Democratic Party group and, and the Steele dossier in Russia, trying to get Russians to, to, to you know, basically be false informants and say that they'd PP'd on the president. Now that's admittedly discredited. McCain's getting sued, suit, suits in Europe, BuzzFeed's being sued for their fictional garbage. So you've got this lady tied into working with that group. You've got her at all these Soros events. You've got her caught lying. He's in the meeting with her 15, 20 minutes, but he made a mistake on Hannity. He said, well, I should have done it a little different. No, you deserve a medal, an award for going out and trying to get the evidence of Hillary. She sold out the uranium. She sold out the Gazprom. Uh, there's hundreds of millions of dollars in the foundation from Russian companies. You've got, and the experts right here, Roger Stone, this is insane. And Trump got it right a month after his son met with him in July of last year when he said, I know nothing about Russia. Russia, you know, isn't involved in this. But if the Russians do have it or the Chinese or somebody in, you know, their basement or in their bed, release it. They change the subject from the criminal emails. They change the subject from the fact that she had 30,000 of them illegally. They change the subject. She got caught lying, saying they weren't classified or that Comey just got caught with the classified memos that he was supposed to give the attorney general. All this is happening. But first. First, if you just joined us, here's Trump publicly. Why'd you never hear about this again? He's public. He says, it's you. You committed the crime, not me. If the Russians got it, release it. If the Russians know where kidnapped kids are, they should release it. Justice be done, may the heavens fall. He said it out in the open. They want to have Fox News even come out on his flank and criticize him so that he then pee-pees his pants, a real piss gate, and then says, well, maybe I should have done it different. You've done nothing. They're the scum that sold us out to globalism. They're the ones that sold us out to the shy comms. It's the Clintons, even the New York Times admits, that gave the reactors in North Korea and the missiles. They're the plague. They're the traitors. They're the t she helped write the TPP that Trump just pulled out of. We're going to play that clip of, of, of Trump saying, give me the emails. Uh, but I mean, do you agree with me, Roger Stone, that he needs to go on the offense and that this is a nothing burger again unless we let the Republican establishment and Pence and all of them run a Jedi mind trick on us that this is something. For me, this is them running on fumes. Alex, uh, as you know, I was in Washington yesterday, and I've got to tell you, in the 40 years that I've been in American politics, I have never seen more fake hysteria, more sturm and drang about nothing. Let's be very clear. Donald Trump Jr. has done nothing improper, nothing illegal, and nothing wrong. Why is he targeted? Because he's the strongest and one of the most effective spokesmen for his father's campaign. Because he constantly retweets things from Infowars.com and other alternative uh, credible news sources. Because he's a warrior. That's why. Uh, and frankly, if in the middle of a presidential campaign, and I've been in 10 of them, someone contacts you and says, I have negative information on your opponent, and you do not seek to get that information you're guilty of malpractice this is a this is a struggle for the presidency of the united states well you're aiding and abetting if it's a crime but, but there's no crime here where is the crime there is no crime. Well, i'm saying is hillary's committed the crimes if, he, if, he, if he's gonna get evidence of her with the russians he's got a responsibility to at least tell the fbi but but if you inside the beltway in washington today today's washington post it's kafka-esque it's like they're in another planet in other well words, they're they know that they're trying to flip us into their false phantom zone. Uh, what's interesting is that a long discussion in today's Washington Post about whether this somehow constitutes a campaign finance 
reform uh, a violation, whether uh, Donald Trump Jr. received something of value uh, and therefore it should have been reported. This is the most backassed, uh, incredibly false, thin argument I've ever seen. There is no violation of law here. Here's the point. This is all they have. The whole Russian narrative now boils down to this. Next thing, what are they going to say? That the Trump family dog came in contact with a Russian wolfhound while in a kennel? I mean, <laughs> this has gotten to the point of absurdity. Uh, now, I would say that the White House knew about this a week ago. Frankly, they should have released it themselves just before the weekend. They have made, in my opinion, what could have been a two-day story, a five-day story. But the bottom line of which there's no violation of law here and there is most certainly no collusion with the Russians to affect the election because there was no document. There was no evidence, at least not from this woman, uh, of, of evidence of wrongdoing. If you look at the circumstances under which the woman lawyer got into the country, I think there's a strong indication, as you say. That's right. Her that visa was up for six months. So clearly Obama and them let her back in. Somebody pulled strings to get her back in the country. That would, I think, play into the, the idea that you just put forward, that this was a setup, a way to try to compromise Donald Trump Jr., uh, who, I, again, I assert has done nothing whatsoever wrong. Uh, this is this is what all of the House and Senate investigations have come to. This is what Adam Schiff and Mark Warner have. Well, I would say they don't have much. There's no violation of law here. I don't even think there's anything politically wrong. Well, I know one thing for absolute 100 percent certain. They came out with the Federal Elections Commission um, commissioner lady yesterday and said, they, they took rumors from a congressional hearing four months ago from the House Armed Services Committee that were then rumors in McClatchy, and then put it out that I'm under uh, counter-espionage investigation by the FBI along with Matt Drudge and Breitbart, and that we need to be hauled before Congress to explain how we got Russian money. I mean, this is literally like something out of a comic book. I've gotten zero money from the Russians. I've never been to Russia. They know that. They know we're mainly funded by listeners buying products from us. This is desperate. When they start saying that that I'm the reason they lost the election and the Russians fund me and told me what to say, I mean, this is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Then, in the middle of an election, all about how the Clintons are involved with the Russians, they turn the narrative around back on to Trump uh, it's just crazy. I mean, I want to be called before Congress. Of course, they won't do it. They're all a bunch of scum. They know full well there's nothing going on here with the stupid Russians. You know, Alex, you should wish that they would call you. You would decimate them because they talk with a complete absence of any facts whatsoever. The idea... Oh, I saw stuff all over Twitter in the news. Uh, Roger Stone and Alex Jones are going to be arrested now <laughs> because Donald Trump Jr. met with a Russian to, to, to find out if Hillary was a Russian spy. Yeah. And I said he did his job to see if she's a spy. So the Washington Post said that I said Trump went to check to see if this woman was a spy. No, I said Hillary. Again, the level of lying, it's pure desperation. But it's the double standard that's more disturbing. In other words, we know for a fact that the Ukrainian government worked with Hillary in an attempt to undermine Donald Trump. But that's not page one in the Washington Post. Uh, oh, Donnie uh, released these emails. What about Hillary's emails? Maybe if Donnie had used bleach and a, and a sledgehammer on his uh, on his server, we wouldn't have this problem. This is an absurd. And, and and they said that you were being sarcastic in the Washington Post. I don't think you were. It's time to indict Comey. He had classified info and lied to Congress. It's time to indict Obama. It's time to indict Hillary. Indict, indict, indict. Go on the offense with this scum. Because here's the deal. We all know the big enchilada. And I want you to comment on both these. He has the trifecta. He has the legislative, the executive, the judicial. He has 30 plus of the states. He has almost all the legislatures. America is explosively awake. That's why D.C. is panicking with all this faux consternation and see we've got you vitriol because they're out of gas. Every time they say this is the total proof, it's all over. Uh, you know, I've got Bloomberg saying, uh, you know, Trump supporters have egg on their face. Here's the headline. Trump's defeated defenders can only whimper. That's like Tokyo Rose as we're dropping a bomb bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki telling the allies they just lost the war. It is a load of delusional BS and only 
If they can hoax the American people into believing this, can they defeat Trump? The problem is the Republican leadership, we'll put Pence on behind us, is trying to maneuver that into reality. How big is the danger, Roger Stone? Uh, I think the danger is not insubstantial. Uh, if you're familiar with Stone's rules, you probably know my most important rule, which is you never win on defense. We know for an absolute fact that the super secret FISA court condemned the Obama administration days before Trump became president for the wholesale unconstitutional illegal surveillance of perhaps tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of Americans. This is a serious crime as opposed to, say, meeting with a Russian woman lawyer who provides nothing. So it's time for Mr. Clapper, uh, Mr. Brennan, Ms. Rice, uh, Valerie Jarrett, and yes, the president himself, to go in front of a grand jury and say what they knew about this. That's how you win this. Donald Trump needs to direct to the attorney general to begin a wholesale investigation into illegal surveillance of American citizens. Uh, this is not some conspiracy. Oh, yeah. Theory. Oh, yeah. The FISA court said this. No one even asked, where did the New York Times get all these emails uh, of Donnie Jr.? Yeah, it's extraordinary, isn't it? Who could, who could possibly have leaked those? Gee, I wonder. I mean, the leaking going on from the Obama holdovers that are still serving in this government and the fact that the administration hasn't moved quickly enough to fill the seats is compounding. It's crazy. Problem. It's crazy. Coming up in the next longer segment with Roger Stone here in studio, I'm going to open the phones up here. Specific questions for Roger Stone at 800 259 800 259 specifically on what's happening with Donnie Jr., what's happening uh, with the globalists, uh, Trump is defeating ISIS right now. That is a big plus. Bill Gertz reports China's intelligence networks in the United States include 25,000 spies. A uh, Chinese billionaire warns they're ready to destroy the U.S. and that they've totally penetrated the Democratic Party. We have this WikiLeak coming up in the next segment where you have the Chinese ambassador meeting secretly with the Clinton campaign a private off the record so again they're the ones they're the traitors but none of this in the news no it's all donnie jr roger stone you've been the head of the trump campaign when it first started uh if you were advising the president right now what would you do go on offense you see i think the left's plan is very simple they're hoping to win control of the house in the 18 election and therefore impeach our president based on trumped up charges put forward by Mr. Mueller. Uh, in Washington yesterday, I heard that Mueller may take as long as two years to wrap up his probe. You can see what they're buying time for. They're buying time for the election. Therefore, if they want to impeach our president, it's time to jail their president. What did Barack Obama know and, and when did he know it when it came to the illegal surveillance cited by the FISA court only days before Donald Trump became president? What did Clapper know? What did Brennan know? What did Rice know? Somebody authorized this operation to spy on the American people and and uh, violate their civil rights. And it's now admitted that they targeted all their political opposition, including yours truly, yourself as well. They came up with nothing. CNN admits all of it's a nothing burger. And so on the heels of all these producers on tape admitting the, the Russia thing's made up and that, quote, is a witch hunt, that CNN producer saying Trump's right, they doubled down with their final ace card, Donnie Jr. trying to find dirt on Hillary. That's what he's supposed to do. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's an absurdity to uh, to think that we are going to not do anything about the fact that the deputy director of the FBI paid $50,000 in our taxpayer money for a phony dossier doctored up to, a, to accuse Donald Trump of sexual impropriety in Moscow that has now been proven to be a, a total fabrication. Those are your tax dollars. And this folks. lawyer, this woman, is tied to it. What does she sound like to you? Getting in when she doesn't have a visa six months after, hanging out at Soros events, protest against Trump, uh, working with the group that put out the PP Gate dossier. Yeah, there's no question she's she's an agent, and this is smelling more and more like uh, like a setup. Notice that they go on the record in emails claiming to have all kinds of negative information on Hillary. Then she produces nothing of the kind. That's how you know it's a setup. The purpose was to get the meeting. I am surprised about one thing, and that is uh, comments today in the Washington Post by veteran Republican opposition researcher Gary Maloney, who's a good man, and he correctly says. This should have been handled by a cutout. Why would you put the candidate's family in the line of fire? 
Why not send a low-level operative to determine whether there was anything here? Well, it shows Even Trump leads from the front. Well, it shows that, that, that this was a grassroots campaign uh, and that they don't have the vast experience at presidential politics that the Clintons have. Which is what we want. All they're trying to do is deliver on their promises. Well, they're honest. The point is they're honest, and Donnie handled this in an honest way. And he's been honest about it since the story broke. Uh, they're trying to crucify this guy. Why? Because he's one of us. Because he's effective, because he's tough, because he's not afraid to fight the left. If you go back and look through his Twitter feed, look how often he reposts Infowars.com. It's extraordinary. They absolutely hate his guts. Uh, they absolutely uh, are totally. If you need some help with your, no, I got phone, it. Can, I'm sorry. We'll yeah. work on it during the break. It's a systemic issue. I, we're gonna I, get to the bottom I of got, it. I got it. No, no, we're gonna, we're gonna investigate it because it's important. Um, we're live teleprompter free, folks. When we come back, I want to get into the real threats where you see this going. But I don't just say this to try to be positive. Everybody knows that. I think Trump's totally turned the corner the last few months, and they are completely panicking and going crazy. And, and, and their constituents are acting like mental patients running around attacking people. Uh, on the 14th, Michael Caputo, who is a longtime associate of mine, you might call him a protege, started on Congressman Jack Kemp's staff as a lowly driver rose to be Kemp's press secretary, an extraordinarily able young guy, is going to be hauled in front of the House Intelligence Committee. Why? Because he once lived in Russia. There's no evidence of contact between him and the Russian state, uh, but it is true that he was sent to Russia by the Clinton administration, being funded by the CIA, in an effort to help the election of Boris Yeltsin. Now, you told me about this back when it was still secret, but just to be clear, he is CIA, he was hired to CIA, to go in to the energy company, and now they're even burning their own person. They're so desperate to look for some type of Russia connection. We'll be right back and break all this down. Stay with us, Infowars.com. It's just a total deflection, this whole thing with Russia. It is so far-fetched, it's so ridiculous. Honestly, I wish I had that power. I'd love to have that power. But Russia has no respect for our country. And that's why, if it is Russia, nobody even knows it's probably China. Or it could be somebody sitting in his bed. But it shows how weak we are. It shows how disrespected we are. A total sign, assuming it's Russia or China or one of the major countries and competitors, it's a, a total sign of disrespect for a country. Putin... And the leaders throughout the world have no respect for our country anymore. And they certainly have no respect for our leader. So I know nothing about it. It's one of the most far-fetched I've ever heard. Yes. What do I have to get involved with Putin for? I have nothing to do with Putin. I've never spoken to him. I don't know anything about him other than he will respect me. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. Now, that's July 27th of last year, about a month after Donnie met with a woman who we now know hangs out with the Soros groups and is part of the PP Gate Democratic Party a fake dossier steel group. Uh, we now know that she uh, got back in the country even though her visa was up six months. I mean, she's being protected. She looks like a classic foundation mole playing both sides. And, I mean, this is what Don Jr. should have done. Uh, is said, yeah, where's my award? It's Hillary working with the Russians. It's not me trying to sell the country out to the Russians. And let's put the WikiLeaks back on screen here. This is uh, from the WikiLeaks confirmed. They're not denying these are real. Now, Chris Como says you're not allowed to read it. Uh, but here it is. And we have China intelligence networks in the United States, 25,000. It's a lot more than that. Chinese ambassador, private off the record, set up for a meeting with Clinton campaign during a run-up to the U.S. election. Let's just indict her ass, because here's the deal. He didn't like the two old parties kissing cousins, selling out America. Trump's done the cardinal sin of really trying to make the country great, trying to turn the economy back on, trying to be the corporate guy that you know does the American turnaround. It's a smart move for him and his family and the world. You know, it's it's it, it's a good move as a decent person, not as a monopoly man. So doesn't he just turn that around with the Chi-Coms, the Clintons giving the reactors in North Korea? I mean, he's got so many smoking gun. Open and shut cases. They want a political war. They're all calling for his death, calling for our death. All this, it's time to go after them. They're weak. The only way we're in trouble is letting them sit there, plotting his murder, plotting his death. Let me explain something. Megyn Kelly had 10 million viewers the first week she hosted her show.
Three weeks in, she hosted it with me, 3.3. It's now at 2 million viewers, lower than anything on broadcast TV, okay? She's gone. It's the same thing CNN had a dead cat bounce for a few months. They're, they're at almost zero. They're done. They're a fraud. But everybody knows a cornered rat is dangerous. And I'm telling you, we need to politically dispatch this un-American cancer now. I'm the opposite of an authoritarian. They say hashtag hunt Republicans. They say kill Trump, kill his family. They say come after me. They say kill the police. They say bring in martial law. They say put the UN over our police review boards. I got an idea. You're not American. You're scum. You want to overthrow our free society. You say you want to overthrow the West. How about you get your ass locked up in prison? And I'm serious. We can do it. We got Trump elected. We have to remove the cancer now. I couldn't agree more. Look, the president needs to realize the awesome investigative powers that he has, the power to indict. Uh, this is what the left did to Richard Nixon in the 70s, and now the shoe's on the other foot. You have uh, substantial evidence of egregious crime. Again, the wholesale uh, surveillance of American citizens is not some conspiracy theory uh, cooked up by Alex Jones and Roger Stone. This is per the FISA court in a stinging decision days before Trump became president. You see, they figured once Hillary was elected, they'd be able to cover this all up. Once Hillary was elected, all their crimes would be beyond reach. But things didn't go the way they wanted to say the least. And now it's time for the president to turn the tables on his tormentors. John Brennan and Ray Clapper have been the uh, the principal architects of this entire phony Russian fairy tale. Uh, and it's time for them to start answering questions under oath about the widespread surveillance and wiretapping of average Americans. Why were they doing this? Who approved it? When did it start? Is it ongoing? There are criminal indictments there. It's time for the president to turn the table on his critics. At the same time, Alex, I'm concerned that the Trump State Department continues to be infiltrated with Soros operatives. This woman, Fiona Hill, was the subject of discussion at last night's dinner when a number of conservative leaders got together. She is single-handedly blocking efforts uh, to, uh, to take on the Soros apparatus through Eastern Europe. Why is she in this administration? Why in the world would Rex Tillerson appoint her to anything? I mean, her credentials, Council on Foreign Relations, Harvard, Soros, Open, uh, Open Society Institute. Does that sound like a Trump appointee to you? Doesn't sound like one to me. And, and I want to be clear. We talk about an open free society for open free people. When he talks about open society, he means no borders, global government, total Islamic invasion. And, you know, expanding on this, Trump has not gone after the vaccine investigation the way he said he would. That's kind of stalled. Also, he's not started in, uh, investigations and hearings on the IRS, and he needs to you know, go after people that are still there that are holdovers. I mean, there's still, I see articles all the time, raiding mom and pop shops that have no criminal record with no investigation, no judge, no jury, not even their own procedures as a rogue agency. Uh, so, you know, here's the deal. I understand we have to have taxes in this country, but we need to repeal the Income Tax Act of 1913 and go back to constitutional tax. So I think those are areas at a bully pulpit where he could do a better job. Well, the other one is obvious, and that is the Clinton Foundation. The Clinton Foundation is not a charity, never was. It's a slush fund for grifters. And as you know, Alex, it was the vehicle for the facilitation of multi-million dollar bribes. So uh, no person is above the law. The left tells us that endlessly. What then of Bill and Hillary Clinton and that criminal enterprise? That well, that's my question, because we kind of gloss over this. You brought it up a bunch, but let's drill into this and then take some phone calls. How, how can she meet with the communist Chinese ambassadors, sell out everybody, have the secret server, delete all the emails, Wiener's getting caught with pedophile stuff, Clinton's on Lolita Expresses, uh, they rob all the money out of Haiti. She destabilizes the Middle East for Al Qaeda and ISIS. Brags about that. Is engaged in you know, all these illegal crimes, spying on everybody, a trail of dead bodies, and then she's still going to lead the Democrats in 2018 with Nancy Pelosi. It shows the total mental illness disconnect, and I think it shows the mental illness disconnect with Russia. Everybody I talk to, except a few delusional liberals, are so sick of Russia, they know it's absolute crap. You see all the videos inside CNN, where everybody from 
Van Jones and the producers say it's totally made up crap. Trump's right, it's a witch hunt. Uh, and, and as you said, Mueller wants to wait till after the midterms, cook up something and try an impeachment. That's why we've got to get good Republicans elected. We've got to remove establishment Republicans. And we've got to know we've got a beachhead, but the war just began because here's the deal. They know culturally we're going Americana. We're not going right wing, folks. We're going populist Americana, free market, JFK policies on the economy. That's what Trump's doing. It's carbon copy JFK, okay? And if Trump gets his tax cuts through, we're going to explode. They have the Economy's already puttering back, but it's going to come back hard. That's why their whole globalist system is going down. So they're going to put everything they can in the next uh, 18 months to win the midterms and get control of the House. That's why they've got election fraud in place, dead people voting, illegals voting. Notice everything Trump said about that's coming out. 5.7 million people illegally voted. Harvard's own data. I mean, uh, think about how Trump's championing that, that he is a godsend, people. You can find stuff he's doing that isn't perfect, which we bring up, but I'm surprised he can get anything done, Stone. Imagine where we'd be if Hillary was here, because you said it earlier. They plan to have her in to shut down the free press, to prosecute people. Pelosi met with the attorney general. She wanted me arrested as an example. They've got the FBI criminally investigating me, and people say, how am I handling it? Wonderfully, the criminal globalist want to put me in jail because I'm effective against them. I am a total American, totally committed to this country. And the globalist scum know it. And they know we're never going to stop. And we, they know we're kicking their ass. And they know you're awake. And they know we're rising. We must crush their spirit. We must demoralize them. They're the goddamn enemy. Excuse me to delay that. I'm just so sick of these, these people. Hate us, Roger. Well, we need to take the fight to them, Alex. Look, uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, there needs to be a knock on the door at the homes of Mr. Brennan, Mr. Clapper, Ms. Rice, Ms. Jarrett, and yes, I'm sorry, sorry to say this, President Barack Obama himself, because no person is above the law. And what they have done with this wholesale spying on American makes Watergate look like nothing. I mean, uh, where is the outrage from the left? I'd be looking to a patriot like Trey Gowdy, who I think is one of the standouts on the on the committees. Why How didn't many, he take the FBI job? I, I can't answer that question. He would have been an excellent choice, a much better choice than I think the fellow we got. Uh, I, I think it's important to, to refocus this. How many foreign nationals did John Podesta meet with? How many Chinese? How many Russians? How many other... Uh, Trump should have press conferences where she where he reads them off. I mean, it, it's, it is... Okay, my son met to see why she's meeting with the Russians. To say, uh, uh, can we give an award to Donald Jr.? He deserves one. Uh, but I'm not just turning that around. It, really, he's trying to expose spies. He's done nothing wrong, immoral, or illegal here. Nothing. But you wouldn't know that. Except saying Washington. he would have done things differently, which is true. He probably should have sent a minion. Yeah, they should, they should have sent a cutout. That's what I would have done. Uh, it, it would have come to nothing because the meeting was a nothing burger. But all of these millions of dollars they have spent and all of the thunderings of the Adam Schiff's and uh, this, uh, this uh, pain in the neck, uh, uh, Eric Swalwell, who's Pelosi's bitch, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the constant dissembling about Russian collusion without an iota of evidence and then they turn up this. Where's the collusion? And let's expand this, on this. How did this affect the election? In what way was the election? It didn't. It was nothing. Exactly. So let's expand on this. And he meant no bad intent by it. It's totally normal. I would do it myself. Let's expand on this then. Why are they so delusional to say Hillary will be the face of the Dems in 2018? I mean, that's crazy. Well, we should hope. I mean, we, really, we should hope. First of all, I will put out the Clinton's War on Women in a new edition available at the Infowars.com store if that should be the case, with several new chapters about Chelsea and how she's been grifting since the election. But Clintonism is like as popular as that's herpes. Leprosy, I would, I would say. I, I want to go back and clarify something earlier. Uh, Michael Caputo testifying before the House Committee on the 14th. Technically, he was working for, I think, the USIA, uh, but he was really funded by the CIA. Our, our goal to affect the Russian election and elect Boris Yeltsin. So in other words, the United States was interfering in their election. Why are we pretending this doesn't happen? Michael but Capone, now they're burning him, knowing it was a CIA contract, trying to use that. That's their evidence is some CIA cutout they sent in. He has, he has two sins. He once lived in Russia while working for the United States government, and 
he had a beautiful ex-wife who was Russian. He had no contact with the Russians. This is the worst, most egregious smear I've ever seen. Michael Caputo is a patriotic American. He is a, he is a solid conservative Republican. He was an early Trump supporter. And they have not one iota of evidence of wrongdoing on his part. Why is being dragged in front of a House Because committee? they have nothing. You know, Nancy Pelosi again yesterday said that George W. Bush was president. Uh, That's 13 times I count. Well, I think Maxine Waters must be writing her talking points. I mean, uh, the, the, the Democratic leadership in the House is just pathetic. I mean, look at that loon ball. She can barely move her face. You notice that? Yeah, total Botox. We have like some narcissistic person who probably has a shriveled brain syndrome. Well, she has recruited this, this lightweight mannequin, Eric Swalwell, who I can't wait to see if on the... When I go before the House Committee on the 24th, I hope he has the cojones to show up. So By the way, expose him. I know it's whoever lines up, but but I will send a, a, a camera person or, or somebody to document it if you can get him in with you. Well, they have very strict rules. You know, they don't want a public hearing, as you know, because I will expose them in public. They don't mind trashing you in public. Congresswoman Spire says, and I quote, Stone has worked for the Kremlin. We know that. No, Congresswoman, I haven't. That's a lie. Apologize or I'll see you in court. You have no idea how many of these I have, Alex. Flat, false statements. That and by the way, I know you've talked to lawyers and I've talked to mine too. They say juries, especially saying somebody's a traitor, will rule for us. I mean, these are pretty much open and shut. Well, because no, no, saying somebody is a freaking foreign agent if you don't have proof's a big deal. Now, Obama, Hillary Clinton, all of them, they are. They're pieces of globalist scum. But it is true that they're protected when they make these false charges on the House floor. It is not so clear that they can demean American citizens, no matter how publicly they're known, when they're off the House floor. So uh, I hope to have my day uh, in Washington. Well, what about this the slime ball, whatever her name is, uh, uh, over at the Federal Elections Commission saying they want to criminally investigate me? Uh, well, it's this FCC, uh, FEC power grab where they say maybe it's a violation of campaign finance that he got valuable data. So now information is currency, according to the Federal Election Commission. So if you get some info, you violated law. That sounds like the biggest power grab, mission creep, galactic level level control and this same doddering ding dong is saying they they, you know, they they know I'm getting money from the Russians no lady no no you stupid piece of crap and there's no evidence there's no precedent for that argument that that information uh you know is something of value in this case under the federal election I mean law. she is a piece of crap don't know her but I, I would say this where are the Republican commissioners why don't any of them step up and say this is nonsense, that there's no violation of law here? See, Donald Trump's biggest problem is not what? liberal Democrats. It's establishment Republicans. It is. It is. It's the quiz. But when I say that Clinton sold us out of the communist Chinese, it's confirmed they gave them the missiles and the reentry and the Merv technology and the guidance and it's and, and Laurel and Hughes and it's confirmed ABB and it's confirmed the reactors in North Korea. It's confirmed. And that they took six hundred thousand dollars in illegal Chinese campaign contributions. And then just yesterday again, the Saudis admit that they funded twenty percent of Hillary's campaign. Where's the investigation into that? When are we going to look into foreign financing? Well, we've all just got to start writing the articles and banging the drum. That's what we do. And just and just force it out there. We're going to go to break, come back and talk to Cody, Declan, Justin, Zach, Alyssa, and others with Roger Stone. Roger Stone is here with us in the studio. I'm Alex Jones with InfoWars.com. He's got StoneColdTruth.com. Before I go any further, briefly, some of our best-selling supplements and pharmaceuticals are back. Myco ZX hits the fungus, the candida, the mold that is in the gut, unlike any other probiotic. The others just deal with bacteria. You take it with our um, probiotic, Biome Defense, 50 billion live cultures per caplet. We keep it in a cold environment. You don't have to, but it makes it last longer. You take these together, amazing. 30% off right now when you get those together, but Myco ZX sold out for five plus months. He's back in. So is DNA Force with the nerve growth refactor. Bio PQQ, CoQ10, 175 clinical studies on Bio PQQ alone. Amazing. It costs three, four times this in medical clinics and isn't even as strong. This is our Rolls Royce product, DNA Force. DNA Force. It is available at InfoWarsLive.com or 888 And when you fund us, you are funding the white hot sword of truth, taking down the globalists savagely, one hack 
and one stab at a time, committed to victory. And boy, are we having victory thanks to your support. Stay with us. Just as Poland could not be broken, I declare today for the world to hear that the West will never, ever be broken. Our values will prevail. Our people will thrive. And our civilization will triumph. And we are back live, ladies and gentlemen, going to your phone calls in this segment and the next. Uh, then we have the man that infiltrated the big American Muslim organization to break down what they're actually up to. We'll look at Linda Sarsour and uh, George Soros and more than Roger Stone. I'll be back hosting uh, the fourth hour. He'll be hosting the fourth hour today here in studio uh, with us. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and go to your phone calls. We got Declan. Declan uh, is, I guess, about 17 hours, 18 hours different from us. He is in Australia. Then we'll go to Cody, Justin, Zach, Alyssa, and others. Declan, thank you for calling today. Thank you very much for having me, Alec. You're on the air with Roger Stone. What's on your mind? I was just thinking with uh, North Korea, obviously, now having a missile that can basically hit anywhere on the globe, is there any way we're going to be able to convince the left that, you know, the biggest threat maybe isn't white supremacists, but outside of the West, since, you know, Islam coming into the country hasn't seemed to really phase them at all, so... Well, that's right. Why is the left so hateful, Roger Stone? Why do they embrace radical Islam? Why do they embrace North Korea, communist China? Why do they not want us to even have weapons to defend ourselves? What is the mental illness of these untraveled, ignorant buffoons, these boobies, to want to constantly uh, cozy up to our enemies? Yeah, you know, I think uh, my friend Ann Coulter is right when he says liberalism is a mental illness. Uh, the idea that the party of John F. Kennedy and Harry Truman... Uh, a party that was staunchly anti-communist, although liberal perhaps on domestic policies, would now not stand up for gay people or Christians or Jews against Islamic terrorism. It, it's almost unthinkable. Where do they think the voter constituency is for this whacked out idea? How do they expect to win any elections when they won't stand up for American citizens and our safety and our security? Now, why do they want to kill the Golden Goose? And why does the Republican establishment play along with them? I think that's for financial reasons, to be honest with you. Look, uh, we know how Washington works. It's all about getting reelected, Alex. It's all about milking the special interests for the next election. Yeah, they go on TV and they pretend to fight. Then they all go out to dinner afterwards. But the difference is Trump doesn't go out to dinner afterwards. He, 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 he wears the American pin when they're wearing the G20 pin, but then he actually delivers. And they go, oh, look, he didn't go along with them. That's great. We should celebrate that. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. He's not part of the Washington buddy system. He's not part of a broken system that's brought this country to its knees. He's not responsible for... Endless foreign wars or the erosion of our civil liberties or the massive debt and spending. No, he was against the Iraq war. Declan, uh, any other points from Australia? Uh, yes, I read an article saying that you think man bear pig is real. I uh, didn't think you would, but any comments on that? <laughs> you know, I'm glad you brought that up. The, the, the media is so deceptive that they said that I said Donald Jr. met with her to see if she was a spy. I said he met with her to see if they had evidence of Hillary being a spy. And they just totally lie. Or then I say there are human animal chimeras, and it's an MIT magazine, and they say that I say that's on Mars. Never said that. So, I mean, the media has reached a new level of lying. I appreciate your call, Declan. You want to comment to that? I mean, do you agree it's reached to just a crescendo of hysterical lying, Roger Stone? Well, see, they're so used to having a monopoly, Alex. They're so used to being unchallenged. They're so used to, so used to being one voice, ABC, NBC, CBS. CNN and sadly now Fox, that they move in lockstep. Uh, and since they thought they had the only megaphone, their lies have gotten bigger and bigger and more egregious. Well, that's like CNN saying there was no rioting in Hamburg or in, or in uh, the, uh, what was the town over in Germany where they had the G20? Oh, or, 12, or 1,200 women weren't raped uh, immediately after the first wave of Syrian refugees. Well, remember they made fun of Trump and said, oh, what happened last night?